All right, guys, we are looking at Maya 2019, Autodesk's Maya 2019, and we're going to go through our initial exercise of modeling a character um, and rigging a character and then animating a character. So um, we're going to go with a simple character, which is an extension of that bouncing ball. Um, just kind of going over the interface here, we've got different um, loadouts up here that will allow us to create geometry. Um, one of the first things we always have to just quickly check is whether or not interactive creation is on under any one of these create options. Um, oftentimes, if it's not, it'll just automatically generate that geometry and you won't really be able to interact with that creation. I prefer it. It's not necessary, but I prefer to be able to do this because um, you can do things like lock into the grid here um, and you know size it according to the grid. Um, there you go. So we've got a sphere here and we're going to work on some basic modeling techniques. We're going to create uh, this little character, this googly-eyed alien character called the Snailian. Uh, it's a cross between a snail and an alien. Um, and uh, the first thing we'll do here is just review our actual um, attributes, which are listed over here. It's this icon here. Um, and we're going to go to polysphere. And what I like to do is make sure it's even, so when we do some symmetry, it'll be good to go and just kind of look at what we have to work with in terms of geometry. Um, so we're going to use our multi-view to help us out with that. And um, I'm going to zoom in here on the top view. Uh, hitting the space bar will allow us to toggle between um, holding down uh, Alt and our trigger finger, our, our left mouse button um, will allow you to kind of uh, spin around and then of course scroll and then um, holding down Alt and our middle mouse button will let us pan around. So if you ever wanted to do that, hitting the F key will allow us to focus in there. And again, that space key will toggle between views. I'm going to toggle to the top view here and I'm going to immediately right click and go to the vertex level of this model and manipulate the geometry that I know I want to manipulate. Once I do this, um, changing attributes is pretty dodgy. And you might notice I have symmetry already turned on. That can be done over here under symmetry settings and object X. So you're going to want that because we're, we're basically everything we're about to do is going to be symmetrical in nature. I'm going to zoom in where those little eye stalks are going to poke out and I'm going to pick on these different things. Now your best friends in Maya to kick off uh, are going to be Q, W, E, and R. Q for select, W uh, for move, E for rotate, and R for scale. I'm going to go to W here because I'm actually going to move these things around. Now you might notice that it's snapped into position. That's because I forgot to turn snap off uh, over there. So I'm going to move these things around so that I can get a more round shape, which is limited in nature because of the limited number of polygons or edges that I have actually here. Um, but I'm going to create sort of a round shape where this eye stalk is going to come out of this alien creature, right? And um, a lot of times artists, of course, or 3D artists will start with some sort of a reference image. We should have done that, uh, but since I already know what this guy's gonna look like, uh, we're just going for broke here. So getting used to the idea of translating, rotating, and scaling vertices, edges, and faces. So that's a three by three, uh, translate, rotate, scale. Uh, that's translate, rotate, scale, and then vertices, edges, and faces. So I'm gonna go to the face level here and select with shift a number of different faces. And um, to kick it off, I'm going to lift those up just a little bit. And then I'm going to hit Control E, which is an extrusion. Um, there's a lot of different ways to get at things in Maya. I can go over here to Edit Mesh and Extrude. I can use the key command. And notice that's obviously a very common one. Otherwise, it wouldn't, they wouldn't have assigned a key command to it. Um, but uh, and sometimes you can even, uh, you might want to pop out a menu like this uh, and leave it there. Of course, if you close it, that doesn't mean it goes away. It just goes back up here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the key command because it's fast. Control E. And instead of taking the default, which extrudes the faces away from themselves and what we call normals, I'm actually going to go to the move tool and move it up. And so now you have these angled um, items here. Uh, and you know, what, where are we going? We're going for this thing with eyeballs on the top. These are going to be the eye stalks. Um, so this is the beginning of that geometry. If you want to get a sneak preview of what it will like in a more smooth version, you can hit the two or three key to get an idea of that. 
Uh, but now that I've moved these up, I have to decide sort of where I want this geometry to go. I'm going to go ahead and leave this down a little bit lower around here. And then I'm going to do something sort of interesting. I'm going to scale it. Now, sometimes it's better to do this in the front view. Um, if you know what you're doing uh, and you feel more comfortable in this view, I'm going to go to the R key, and I'm actually going to scale it on the Y axis here, which seems sort of weird. You're like, why would you, why would you scale the faces? Well, watch what happens when I do so. It actually flattens them out. And um, in flattening them out, I now have a more direct line to go straight up and down, which is what my desired uh, effect is here. Then I can actually um, scale these in this way a little bit. So I'm shrinking them around that center point there. And then I can hit Control E. And again, you could choose to use the extrusion tool in its normal usage there. Um, or again, you can go to the W. And I'm going to go ahead and do that just because it's a habit and it's my preferred method of doing things. And then I'm going to go to R again, and I'm going to taper that in. Again, I'm going to check my smooth preview by hitting 2 or 3 to get an idea of what this guy's doing. Another little tip is if you hit the G key, it will perform the last operation, which of course was extrude. So I hit G and W, G and W, G and W, always remembering to lift up Afterwards, if you extrude faces on top of themselves and you forget about it, it's going to make a real mess later on. So always be careful not to have faces that are, exist in the same space. That would be uh, not a good thing later on. Now I'm going to go to scale. I'm actually going to flare this thing out. And I'm going to hit G and W. G and W. And then I'm going to go back to that scale. and going to start tapering that down um, in a desired fashion. So we have the beginning of our model here. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, what we're going to do to make this even better. And obviously, we have some aesthetic things we want to clean up before we get going into um, the finer details of this guy. So look for that in the next video.